In my Ultimate Arena Guide video, I showed you guys how to complete the fixed loadout challenges as easily as possible on Ultra Hard. Plus, we covered a bunch of tips for the open loadout challenges. But I also mentioned that the strategies I showed there aren't the same ones you'd want to use if you're interested in posting a competitive time. The tactics you need to use to get a top time on the leaderboards are much trickier and typically rely on getting good RNG with machine positioning and other factors. So today, I'll show you how I got my 7th place finish on Ultra Hard in the first fixed loadout challenge, Rematch. Unlike the other fixed loadout challenges, Rematch actually doesn't rely on traps. Instead, the strategy relies on three tactics, using the piercing shredders for damage and knockdowns, freezing the slither fang with the warrior bow's frost arrows, and dealing extra damage with the tripcaster's stagger beams. So it's actually very similar to the method I showed in my arena guide, but the key difference is those stagger beams. After freezing the slither fang the first time, you'll want to put down a few stagger beams using the quickwire weapon technique. Then, you need to get the slither fang to continue touching the stagger beams after you freeze it. If you can manage to do this, the stagger beams will burn through a bunch of its health very quickly. And remember, when using the shredders, you want to target the middle third of the slither fang's body to build up knockdown. As with the competitive tactics for all of the fixed loadout challenges, it takes many attempts to get lucky enough to have the Slither Fang stay in the stagger beams, so prepare for a grind. With that said, let's check out my 7th place finish. Alright guys, that was my 7th place finish in Rematch. I posted this time in early October 2022, and it's worth noting that these are virtually the same tactics used by Wallace and Paulino to post the current first place time for the challenge, so if you can perfect them, maybe that could even be you in the top spot. I hope you're able to learn from this to post your own top time, and even come up with some new tactics to push the competitive times even further. Now, if you'd rather see an easier, more reliable strategy to beat the locked loadout challenges, and also get some tips for the open loadout ones, then you'll definitely want to check out my ultimate arena guide linked on screen. And if you're looking for more tips on the arena, and especially the open loadout challenges, I definitely recommend checking out the excellent PDF guide and video series my friend Mr. Fancy Pants put together. I'll link those down below. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.